If nitrogen is most of the air we breathe, then how can nitrogen be pollution? While nitrogen gas is stable and harmless, other nitrogen compounds like urea, ammonia, and nitrate are very reactive. On Long Island, we are dumping too much reactive nitrogen into our waters, and it's degrading what people value most about living on Long Island, such as clean beaches, clear water to swim in, and abundant fish and shellfish that are safe to eat. Nitrogen pollution literally makes things grow awry. In parts of Long Island, seaweed now grows so fast that it piles up feet thick on bathing beaches. Nitrogen pollution is triggering brown tides, red tides, and rust tides. Some of these harmful algae blooms make clams and mussels poisonous for people and wildlife to eat. One type of algae produces a toxin that makes it unsafe for people and pets to even come in contact with the water. Beneficial seagrass meadows suffer as fast-growing algae shade and smother them. And when overgrown algae die, the problem doesn't go away, as the decomposing plants rob the water of oxygen, creating dead zones that kill fish and other marine life. Nitrogen pollution also impacts wetlands. Salt marshes that used to have deep, dense roots now have roots that are shallow and flimsy. Huge chunks of coastal marshes are just falling away, leaving bayside communities more vulnerable to waves and erosion. Much of what we love most about Long Island is at risk. Right now, things seem grim. But it's been shown that where we have cut back on nitrogen pollution, waterways are recovering. This is a solvable problem. Working together, we can restore and protect Long Island's waters. Our future depends on it.